Hi all, hope you all are doing well. So previously we have seen in the SQL injection these two topics that is uh, the where clause and then we had the bypass logging where we tried to log in as an administrator. So now we are going to learn about the SQL injection union attacks. Okay, so in this we have nearly three labs. So uh, all this content right you can go through but let me show you here in my DB. So I have a table uh, whose uh, let me just execute this. Okay, so you can see I have four columns. So the overall intention of today's topic is that if you can see so this uh, a sequence of lab is like first to find the number of columns then try to get the required data and so on so that we can finally come to um, know about everything end to end about union and how to fetch all the request uh, required data okay so the first lab will help us to understand how many number of columns are there in the query that actually executing in the back end okay so for that we need to understand these two things so suppose this is the uh, our select star column so since the star is there and uh, star means all columns so uh, we require all four columns so here if I write union and any other query so union intersect and such kind of operations like I, I need to have the same number of columns in the queries before the union and uh, in the query after the union so if I write union select null and I don't want anything else so if you write something else I just want to comment it so for that say I am writing hyphen hyphen so here you can see if I execute it now okay you can see the union intercept and accept these operator must have equal number of expression in the target list that is the before query and the after query should have same number of columns so I'll, I'll try to add one more column that is null because I, I don't want uh, whether it is a null or uh, any other attribute okay I just need to make sure that I am getting the same number of columns either side so I see 2 is not the answer is the 3 correct no so let me add 4 null so you see now I got the column so based on uh, based on this value I came to know that the number of columns that, uh, that was there in the previous query was 4 okay so if I write now like you can see ID is there so if I write ID here will it work no why because in the first query I had only one column and in the later on I have four columns so it will work when I have only one column on the right hand side as well so now if I see it worked right the same technique we are going to use it here in this lab so let's go to our app. lab scale injection union attack determining the number of columns okay yeah so in this lab okay access the lab okay so here uh, let me okay yeah fine let me open my verb suit okay now intercept is on and uh, we are ready to go so if I click on this corporate gifts it happened what what what's wrong oh, okay yeah I need to turn on my verb suit proxy yeah now I click on corporate gifts so you can see there we can find the category as corporate plus gifts so I if I return it back it will get all the gifts which are there under the corporate gifts okay so what my intention is there is some query happening right when I click on this food and drinks so the category value is going and this is going to be executed under one query so I need to find what is that query or how many columns are there in that query okay now the good thing here is if I hover on this I can see food and drink so you can see what is plus here what is mod 26 here so this is what we have seen in the previous video about the URL encoding part correct so now what we are going to do is we need to modify this okay let me send it to the repeater okay good now we don't need this okay let's let's try this okay so this is our food and drink if I click on go you see there is some uh, determining the number of columns SQL injection not sold so uh, some or the other products we'll get here okay that is fine but our uh, overall intention is to get not sold so if you take in general right there might be a hundred number thousands of requests so you can see if I pass something else like ABCD or uh, ABCD what's happening 
there's some different content right so uh, overall thing what i'm saying is when i'm having a proper response and improper response i can identify it based on my content length based on my status code based on the difference in the response that i'm getting okay yeah so let's now uh, try to find out the number of uh, columns so what we did in instead of value so this was the actual query okay here it was going as gifts so instead of this what we need to put we need to put this union till this one okay i mean till this one i hope this makes sense so this much value i'm going to put it here so the remaining part will get commented and so i can go up and null 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 okay yeah so here you go oh yeah i need to encode it right so let me open browser and let me mm, yeah turn this off or i can keep it as it is okay no problem yeah uh, url encode I'll paste my content here, encode. There might be other techniques we might not know of as of now, but let's try to understand this one first. So let's put this. Okay, so I'm not able to understand what this is, but it seems mod 20 is. Okay, let's try to hit this. Internal server error. Now our next query will be adding one more null so what we will do we'll go to our browser we'll add one more null uh, and let's see now encode yeah let's pass this value go internal server error let's uh, add one more value null why is this coming was uh, okay i copied the wrong value i should copy this and let's try to hit it again so you, you can see so far we are getting internal server error for every response and again let's add one more null i don't know how many columns are there let's try one more time okay encode copy oh no I, I should add only one okay let's try to add this four call four nulls still okay let's see what is wrong here not 20. let me try the same for up to 10 columns and then i'll get back to you so i'm pausing uh, and meanwhile i'll try for 10 columns so even with the 10 columns i am not getting okay so i i have tried here with 10 11 15 till 15 max i went but still i am getting internal server error for all so then if you see here if i hover on this you can see food and drink so here what we are seeing is if i oh, if i try to encode here food and drink you can see instead of space like instead of and we have mod 26 and in, instead of space we have mod 20 so here what they are doing instead of using mod 20 they are simply using plus so this seems to be uh, slightly different from what we have seen previously so let's uh, try to see our value by using plus in place of space okay so our value was this right and if we try to go to our repeater and put our value here i mean after equal to and try to use plus in, instead of space oh my bad yeah plus instead of space plus plus okay now go invalid request head oh, what happened let me see let me hover on this union select select yeah it seems same. okay this should be with this go session expired okay uh, let's uh, try to send one more request again we don't need this and this is our proxy let's do intercept off and let's try to hit the 
this one again okay okay refresh fine access the lab yeah there you go you have hints as well and solutions and if you have if you need any explanation you can find the material as well so now if i go and intercept is on and hit this corporate and give it didn't oh okay i turned off the proxy intercept is on proxy is on now now hit it corporates and gifts okay now send this to repeater and here we'll put our value okay and replace the space with the plus 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 and this okay now go again internal let's add null try this as well go so if you uh, if if it seems like you have done something wrong in the encoding you can simply hover on this and you can see union select null null so whatever we thought that is what it is getting displayed okay again null okay so you see this time so previously we were getting 500 internal server error right so this is what we were getting whenever we are giving something wrong input and then when we gave one more null go so you can see now we are getting different response so what it is now we can see it is solved so if i go to my browser and uh, you can see not solved if i okay yeah i need to pass this value in my actual request this was our repeater right i'll go to my proxy and i'll simply do this okay and now i'll turn off the intercept what happened yeah you can see that went off and now we can see we are uh, we are done we can we have executed this union selection so based on this what we are able to get we now know that the query that they are using for executing has three columns okay so so going forward we are going to use this select but before that there is one more thing is this the only way uh, to identify uh, how many number of columns no let, let me show you this one more thing so this thing again i got from uh, the port figure website only so if i see uh, there is four columns right so if i say order by one it means order by first column similarly if i say three so order by third column but if i write five is there a fifth column so we'll get an error okay so this way also i can uh, identify that okay there was an uh, not there was not a five column so this can be useful when suppose there is a hundred column so i can do like for 50 then i can do for like 200 so for 200 i'm getting error and for 50 i'm not getting error so i have to move ahead so i'll try for 150 for 150 i'm getting error so i'll try for 120 120 is also error so when there is huge number of columns maybe i can go for order by right so similarly if, if there is only id that is one column so if i write a two again i'll get the error so i hope this makes sense right so when there is huge number of columns i can go by order by one or uh, i uh, the uh, union also so there is no harm in uh, knowing okay this is also there right so that's it for today and if you can see they have told us that based on uh, let me back to lab description SQL injection union index yeah so in, in under SQL injection we are uh, uh, moving on to union index so in this we have three labs out of which we covered first lab for today so uh, it is like there is a flow of uh, logic from one attack to other so we understood how we came to know the number of columns next we are going to fetch some data and so on so yeah that's it for today if you liked my explanation please do subscribe click on notification bell and share with other people so uh, the uh, until and unless you try to practice we, of course we won't get it and even if you get it if you try to practice there is for sure you'll come across new concepts okay so yeah that's it for today thank you